In this video, we're gonna be talking about part five of our offensive scheme. And we'll be teaching you the fifth component of a good offense in Madden, and that is a uh, ability to be able to beat the blitz in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Cody. We do videos like this every single day. And did wanna let you know that we're gonna be taking a look, we're kinda of building a scheme from scratch, kinda of talking about how you can build your own uh, offensive scheme. But this is kind of also a little bit of an example of our um, of our offensive and defensive ebooks that we have over at my Patreon membership. If you want to get access to over 28 offensive and defensive guides, all you got to do is sign up for the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. There's a link in the description if you want to check that out. But like I said, today we're going to be taking a look at um, just some simple ways that we can beat the blitz out of this formation or how to deal with it when our opponent is blitzing us. Now we've talked about this before, but with this formation, we like to run this with our uh, with this formation flipped because it's gonna give us better animations on play action plays. Um, and then also it's gonna give us, you know, uh, better ability to run the ball. So the play that we're going to be taking a look at when it comes to beating the blitz is the play corner strike. Um, it's one of my favorite blitz beaters in this game. You could also use uh, this play here, let's see. You could use this uh, sail dig for the tight end zig if you wanted to, but I wanted to break down uh, corner strike. Corner strike is one of those plays that people have kind of slept on this year. It used to be one of the top plays in Madden year in and year out. And now it's kind of one of those, like I said, it's just kind of a slept on uh, concept. So uh, when your opponent is blitzing you from man to man, I want you to notice a couple things. The first thing is that the safety on the right side is typically gonna be in man coverage on the running back. Um, so they have decent alignment from that perspective. Now, the other thing I did wanna say is with Madden 22, it's very helpful to block your tight end to pick up pressure. So you'll see here, if I block my tight end, the blitz will get picked up and I'm able to hit my C route on the left side. What's also really good about these C routes is, especially if they're gonna blitz you, a lot of times, let's say they blitz you from, um, from zone, one of the things that you'll get a lot is these like hard flat, you know, kind of style defenses here. And this is really helpful for your C route. Again, if you pass lead that down the way. Now you did notice that the third will play that if there's not a pull route. Um, it will also play it if you don't have gunslinger. So the fact that I'll have gunslinger is kind of another key element. Let me show you this sh uh, short side C route to Mike Evans. And what you'll see is this one's a little bit easier to throw. Uh, as you can see right there, it just gets a little bit more separation. Um, the short side C route or the, the to the left is better in my opinion than the right side. And you'll see against like a cover four drop, you'll see it's basically the same thing. So what I like to do with this play, a um, couple things that I like to do with this play, I like to leave this guy on his route, Johnson, or put him on a drag. And this is gonna create kind of a high low on both sides of the field. So if, I don't, if they're not playing hard flats to the right, that table route is one of the most underrated routes in the game this year. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go with a hard flat coverage to the right side. So I'm just gonna block by tight end. You could just snap it right here if you wanted to, or you could put that triangle receiver on a drag. What you'll see here is that this hard flat will suck outside and I can easily throw that in that window for you know several, you know just a simple uh, read. So what they're gonna do, their natural next progression, if they're gonna send five, is they're gonna put a vertical hook there and they're gonna shade their coverage down. If they were to make that adjustment, then what you'll see here is when he kind of cuts to the outside, he'll eventually pass that vertical hook. So if he plays it like that, where he kind of reacts to it a little bit, if you wait on it a little bit, it's gonna get open to the outside. So that's a good way to use this. It's gonna force them to have to man him up. So if they man up this guy, like so, now there's not a flat defender um, to defend the circle receiver. So with the circle receiver, you can, if you want to, put him on a smart routed out route if you want it to be a little bit better of a cleaner of a read, or you can just smart route it. And a lot of times if you aggressive catch it, it'll kind of protect it from getting user. But this is, this is another way. So again, they, they can't really put like a purple zone over here. This is what they'll try to do is they'll try to put like a, a cloud flat, for example. And if they do that, um, you'll just see how good this running back route is and you'll get an easy five to 10 yards. So it's just super simple way to beat the blitz. you know. And then with the man coverage, this is where this crossing route comes in in this left side. So if you get man coverage, you kind of want to read this other side over here. 
you'll see that this crossing route normally beats man to man over the middle and then the other thing that's going to be open is of course your c route on that left side so this is just another easy easy way to uh, pretty much beat the defense here you'll see here um, when he cuts the outside he'll be wide open notice that that route on the left is significantly more i think just more consistent for you than the c route on the right side and so you can kind of build around that if you wanted to if you wanted to take this outside receiver on the right side what you could do is you could put him on a smart routed out you could also put him on a smart routed dig so it looks kind of like this play this is a pretty good concept here for the blitz because you see how the purple zones will get sucked inside to the dig and then the running back will basically be wide open it creates a little bit more space for the running back as well uh, on this concept and then let me show you one other thing here so let's say that they send um five out of a cover two so it looks kind of like this this is probably their best uh opportunity in my opinion to be able to stop this concept because what they're going to be able to do is they're going to shade their vertical hook underneath so that it plays a little bit better underneath and then they've got their user in the middle of the field and they have um you know the c routes on the outside with the cloud flats so what you can see here is this crossing route is going to be open over the middle and then if you have that smart routed in and behind it it's a it's a very helpful read um for your for your uh quarterback because what's going to happen is they're going to be able to they're going to be forced to pick am i going to go with the drag or am i going to go with the dig now the c route um against a cloud flat I'll show you you'll see that the c route is not really there against cloud flats so if they play cloud flats on the outside the c route's not really a, a good option um, just just really not a good read so it's kind of similar to an out route if you will so what we can do is we can hit our running back or we can hit our crossing route and that's where you know again this guy's gonna have to use or that drag all the way over here and so if he does then that's gonna mean we're gonna have somebody if we put that outside receiver on the right side on a dig route it can be helpful for the, something like this and then block the tight end so we pick up the pressure you'll see here that the running back when he comes to the flat once he he's got to let that ver that vertical hook will carry him a little bit um, especially again if they shade down if they don't shade their vertical hook down then it's not gonna be as good but if they shade their vert hook down it will carry to the flat pretty decently so you just have to be ready for that so you see oh he's that animation and eventually he'll come off of him and I can throw that and get you know five to ten yards and then the the back side though I want to show you something with this so on the back side of this concept now I have my crossing route and my dig and then I've got the C route on the left the C route on the left um, you can actually throw that C route on the left against cover two it's a little bit of a tight window but I'll show you what you can do so if they do something like like this defense here let's show you like this um, you'll be surprised at how good this this uh, C route to the left side can be so the C route to the left side you'll see they're gonna miss the jam passing that up and you see that it can actually play that or get that over the top of a cloud flat so what this is gonna do is it's gonna force them to be in a situation where they're gonna have to drop zones um, they're gonna have to drop those clouds to 20 yards or something um, to be able to stop that and this is where we can really hit them to the flat and if you want to put the tight end on a route this is where the tight end flat route can become very handy um, because what the tight end flat route will do is he'll just shoot out here and if they're not if they're in a zone drop they're gonna be you know it's gonna be an easy 10 yards so these are some simple ways that you can beat the blitz uh, with this offense in any offense you need to have a plan for what you're gonna do to both pick up pressure and also to combat pressure when they send it thanks for watching this video and if you want to learn more about my offensive and defensive guides you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks by joining my patreon page it's only ten dollars to sign up you get over 28 offensive and defensive guides we also update those for you throughout the year so you always have the most up-to-date version of the material if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below where you can click on that it'll take you over to the page and you can get signed up for just 10 bucks